Hi, my name is Tom at PC Spec Ops, and today we're going to be talking about virtual memory. In your PC, one of the biggest bottlenecks, or two of the biggest bottlenecks, are the system's memory and the hard drives. By adding a faster hard drive or an SSD, solid state drive, or more memory or faster memory, you can increase the processing rate for, for data. Virtual memory is a system service where it uses space on one of your hard drives to simulate having more memory, and so it relieves pressure strain on the actual memory that you have in your computer. You can think of it like adding more lanes to a motorway or highway. It relieves the pressure on the traffic flow and allows it to move quicker. And today I'm going to show you how to do that in the system settings. Okay, so depending on which version of Windows you're using, this process will be pretty much the same. The, the way you access it will be different. If you've got uh, an old version of Windows, like Windows 7, then you need to find My Computer. I'm sure if you've been using it this long, you know where that is. But for Windows 10, the easiest way to find it is to open your file explorer. And you need to go to this PC. In that window, you want to right click and press properties. And then take note of how much memory you have in your PC. And click advanced settings. Then at the top in the tabs, you want to go to advanced and performance. Click settings and at the top again, advanced and here you'll see virtual memory and it will tell you how much is already assigned so you click change my computer has 16 gigabytes of RAM memory so the general rule is that you want to double the amount of physical memory you have or as close to as you can depending on how much hard drive space you have left if you've got a separate drive or a second drive then you want to use that because it will relieve strain on the system drive and save using up lots of space on that drive. So mine's set on my secondary drive. So what you want to do is go to custom, select the drive that you want to use, go to custom. The initial size I tend to put in the amount of memory that I have in my computer and for maximum size you set it to double that so it can use as much as it needs up to double that amount. Depending on what kind of workload you put on your PC will depend on how much it needs but it, the general rule is you want to double it. Uh, once you've done this you want to click set otherwise it won't work and if you are changing which drive you're putting it on then you want to go back to your system drive and select no paging file and press set. When you click set, it will probably give you a warning because the system will panic and say you're not you're, you're turning off your virtual memory drive. Um, don't worry about this; it won't cause any problems because you've already set another one. After you've done this, what you'll do is reboot the computer, and then this will take effect. Uh, depending on how much memory you have, if you have a small amount, you'll probably notice quite a, quite a difference in snappiness of the computer and how quick it processes things. If you have a lot, you might notice, you might not, but it will definitely help with the workload that you're putting on the computer. So it's it's always worth doing. For some reason, the, the uh, system managed size, doesn't, which is what the default setting is, doesn't seem to work very well. Go ahead with doing all that, and then press OK on them all, and apply. And then reboot your computer, and then this will take effect, and you'll be able to see, get a feel for how much difference is made. And that's pretty much it. That, that's all there is to it. It's, uh, you won't need to do anything from now on. It, it will stay that way from, from now on. And it should speed up your PC. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I've got a few more videos on my channel now that help with speeding up your computer. From turning off Cortana in Windows 10, because that takes a lot of pressure off and makes the search bar work the way it should, instead of directing you to the internet all the time or a map or something and running disk cleanup which is something you should be doing regularly which speeds up your computer I'll put links to those in this video at the end and they'll be on my channel as well so if you want to see any of this stuff then please subscribe to the channel and like the videos to help the exposure get these to more people and um, there's lots more on the way and uh, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video I hope this helped peace <laughs>